गाइस दिस इज एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड वीकली टेक्निकल एनालिसिस फॉर द वीक ऑफ नवंबर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ नाउ दैट द एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड हैज रिगेन्ड इट्स बुलिश ट्रेंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रिमेन बुलिश इन द कमिंग वीक एंड वंस इट गेन्स द सिक्स थाउजेंड मार्क इन दैट केस इट विल बी मूविंग फर्दर टू वर्ड सिक्स थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड Now question is that when the S and P 500, Dow Jones, and the entire market was coming down, then why and how the market has regained its bullish trend? Now this was my uh, midweek update to my Patreon community members on November 21st, and here I have clearly and specifically mentioned that there is a strong zone. So as long as S and P 500 is trading and sustaining. at or above this zone there will not be any bearish movement very simple and also in order to lose this zone s&p 500 dow jones and the entire market needs a strong reason a very strong reason whereas for the bull side no reason is needed because technically it is bullish and technicals will help it to trade bullish so when i say the reason if you notice s&p 500 was struggling to clear there is the heavy zone earlier but then on wednesday 6th of november the results were announced and it was clear that who is going to be the next president and then we have seen s&p 500 and the entire market got a heavy gap up open and breached and breached the zone which otherwise was impossible to breach so similarly when it was coming down a similar kind of heavy a strong reason a strong reason was needed otherwise it was 100% clear and confirmed that it will get a retrace from here now before i proceed any further to the weekly chart the daily chart and the probable movement let me give you a quick recap of what i predicted and how the s&p 500 behaved from monday to friday on november 18th i mentioned that it's been more than 3 hours and s&p 500 has strongly sustained above the 50% of the favorite retracement and also above the strong support zone and also the lower level charts are indicating an intraday reversal this indicates that now the zone is capable to hold any fall in the bearish side if that fall is seen for the rest of the day and also at the same time it has opened the possibility of recovering the 5900 so on monday s&p 500 sustained well above the zone and also its intraday high was 5908 now on tuesday november 19th in my pre market update on november 19th again the zone as long as s&p 500 is trading above the zone it will be seen as safe and will be considered as bullish in nature so this means that irrespective of anything either 5900 the psychological mark or my calculated heavy resistance level will be the maximum in the bull side for the entire day so once again on tuesday s&p 500 sustained at the zone moved up breached 5900 but remained below my heavy resistance level so once again on wednesday is the same thing it will sustain at the zone irrespective of anything and all of this was mentioned here in my pre market update which is given before the open of the stock market then finally on thursday the impact of nvidia so initially we have seen within the first hour there was heavy bearish movement a heavy fall after a heavy gap up open and then the market recovered and in the midday update on uh, thursday i mentioned that now as the day has progressed and is progressing the nvidia is expected to cool down and so will be the volatility and fluctuations and this will then help the indices to trade normally this means that any fall will be limited to this strong uh, uh, small uh, zone and exactly the same was seen on thursday and yesterday on friday the movement was very easy very simple to capture 
okay because the S&P 500 was trading in the open equal to low condition Dow Jones was also trading in the open equal to low condition Dow Jones was trading above the heavy support level S&P 500 was trading above the heavy support zone so in the midday update uh, on Friday it was very very much clear that because of all of these conditions S&P 500 and the entire market is expected to remain bullish so on all of these days the movement was as expected as anticipated and as predicted so guys I am going to discuss everything about the 6100 6000 condition and again the zone and the factors which are going to influence the movement of the market in the next week in detail in this S&P 500 weekly technical analysis but guys before that if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and guys if you are looking for these daily precise updates of the S&P 500 every day from Monday through Friday then you can join my patreon community I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and other than that guys if you want to learn the options options trading strategies the eight premium hacks and the modified technical indicators and also remember that I use these the hacks in everyday predictions because these are the premium hacks you might not have seen or heard of so I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section now guys I am going to discuss the agenda of this S&P 500 weekly technical analysis the first point of the agenda is the S&P 500 technical analysis on the weekly chart so on the weekly chart that was the best part the weekly chart because the market has sustained only and only because of the weekly chart weekly chart was bullish heavily bullish and in the last uh, in the previous S&P 500 technical an analysis also I have shown you that the trend is bullish because uh, the weekly chart that S&P 500 and Dow Jones are 90 percent bullish so that is the trend setter so trend is bullish this means that this fall will be limited and then there will be a recovery okay all it need to do is to sustain at or above this the zone that's it okay so weekly chart now uh, market is going to uh, gain 100 percent bullishness absolute bullishness okay on this the weekly chart so i will show you uh, the candles okay and everything and also on the weekly chart we are anticipating a gap up open sorry through the weekly chart we are anticipating a gap up open on Monday okay now second point of the agenda is the S&P 500 technical analysis on the daily chart so on the daily chart you can clearly see a recovery okay a recovery and also on the daily chart the market is going to gain 100% bullishness 100% or absolute bullishness as early as on Monday once that happens then it will be able to move freely into 6000 6100 or even beyond okay so on the daily chart i will show you the candles okay and uh, i will discuss the technicals and everything third point of the agenda is the probable movement of the sp500 from november 25th which is monday to november 29th that will be friday whatever is going to happen bullish bearish hold conditions bullish condition bearish conditions I am going to discuss everything in detail in this the last point of the agenda and also guys let me remind you that all of these three sections are interrelated are interconnected this means that when I say the probable movement then by the time I come to discuss uh, this the probable movement in the third point I, ha I have already discussed the probable movement in the first and the second point because I discussed the candles and the patterns and these are very very important so around 30 to 40 percent of the probable movement I cover in the first and the second point okay and then the rest of the probable movement means what is going to happen in the S&P 500 and in the entire stock market in the next week here in this the last point of the agenda now guys I am going to discuss the first point of the agenda and uh, this is the weekly chart weekly chart means one candle represents one week not one day or one hour one candle means one week okay now now comes the candle so guys before i discuss the candle if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and if you are looking for these daily precise updates of the s&p 500 every day from monday through friday 
then you can join my patreon community i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and if you want to learn the premium hacks which works with 100% almost 100% accuracy and are hidden hacks and i use these the hacks in daily predictions along with the modified technical indicators to predict the movement even before it is seen and the options and the trading strategies options trading strategies premium calculator then i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section you can follow that link and you will see the shop option on my patreon page and in the shop option you will find all of these the products and the programs now comes the candle if you notice that the closing of the candle is very near to the high of the candle however this candle failed to clear the open of the previous candle okay this is why a gap a gap up open okay it is not confirmed however an intraday bullish movement or an initial bullish movement on monday will be seen okay means irrespective of any open we are anticipating a bullish movement on monday either initially or in or intraday there will be a bullish movement okay and also and also one more thing if the market remains bullish it is expected to remain bullish okay if the market remains bullish and there comes a green candle in a manner that in the next week the closing of this candle is seen above the open of this candle open of this candle was 6008.86 or in simple or 6009 if the closing of the next weekly candle means by next friday means november 29th if the closing is seen above 6009 then in the next to next week means the first week of december we can anticipate a gap up open because in that case it will create a sandwich pattern okay and and not just the gap up open but we will anticipate more bullish movement in the market now this is the dow jones now here in case of the dow jones again the weekly candle last candle closing of the dow jones is uh, a little below the um, high of the uh, high of um, the dow jones okay but the best part is that this closing is above the closing of the previous candle and the open and the closing of the this is the previous candle means two candles okay this indicates a gap up open on monday or irrespective of any open and initial bullish movement or an intraday bullish movement very simple okay now that we have seen the s&p 500 is saying that irrespective of any open there will be an initial or intraday bullish movement dow jones is saying the same thing and also dow jones is indicating a gap up this means that on monday initially or intraday we will see the bullishness okay either in the form of gap up or initial bullish movement or intraday bullish movement okay so uh, this was through the candle and also the closing of the dow jones okay here this closing of the dow jones this is very very strong in a manner in a manner that it allows the continuation of the bullish movement not just the normal continuation but the heavy heavy bullish movement it is indicating heavy bullish movement however this heaviness is not seen through the dow jones or through the s&p 500 okay but by the next week it will be very much clear now technicals uh moving averages clear fan out s&p 500 is bullish through the moving averages on the weekly chart bollinger bands s&p 500 is bullish through the bollinger bands on the weekly chart uh, ichimoku cloud s&p 500 is bullish through the ichimoku cloud on the weekly chart macd s&p 500 is bullish through the macd on the weekly chart and also s&p 500 is bullish through the stochastic rsi on the weekly chart this is the best thing okay best thing best thing in a manner that now the s&p 500 will be seen or considered as 100% absolute bullish on the weekly chart heavily bullish okay dow jones now in terms of the dow jones uh, moving averages so dow jones is bullish through the moving averages on the weekly chart dow jones is bullish through the bollinger bands on the weekly chart dow jones is bullish through the chimoku cloud on the weekly chart dow jones is bullish through the macd on the weekly chart dow jones is bullish through the stochastic rsi on the weekly chart 
once again once again a relief okay a big relief to the market that again the dow jones is 100% absolute bullish on the weekly chart the same thing was seen in the s&p 500 means the trend trend of the market not just s&p 500 or dow jones no the trend of the entire us stock market is absolute bullish heavily bullish okay if it is heavily bullish then will there be any problem not now for one week if it want to move up by 3% 4% 5 10% doesn't matter it can it can okay but next to next week in the first week of december because if it remains if the market trades bullish in the next week then by the end of the next week it will hit the saturation okay and also the overbought conditions on the weekly chart this means that the first week of december will then compel the market to give up okay if not heavily then a little just like what we have seen here okay so this will be there now guys i have this very important information to share with you that if you want to make 5% to 15% on a monthly basis confidently okay and you have some technical knowledge okay some uh, basic knowledge then these are the programs or um, these are the products that i offer this is eight stock market premium hacks hidden hacks that you might not have seen or heard of works with almost 100% accuracy and works with um, and works almost 100% of the times okay these are the modified technical indicators and remember these are the hacks i use these are the hacks in in my daily predictions to my patreon community members okay and everything this is the options options trading strategies premium calculator live premium calculations and this program is the combination of this program and this program so in this program you will learn the options trading strategies premium calculator eight hidden hacks eight premium hacks and the modified technical indicators and if i show you then in this program i cover these the eight stock market hacks okay with 95 percent accuracy or with almost 100 percent accuracy five percent is just margin of error like once in a once in a blue moon otherwise almost 100 percent of the times these hacks works that is why i'm saying five percent to fifteen percent every month okay it is fairly possible now through these the hacks you can predict whether there will be a fall okay or a rise in the market next day green candle red candle gap down gap up okay heavy rise heavy fall five percent to ten percent fall or rise okay and trend change okay bottom absolute bottom absolute uh, top everything other than that the options from the basics okay options strategies calculations implied volatility options greeks so these are the live options calculations okay through the options premium calculator okay then the options trading strategies and each and everything in detail in this the in this particular program so guys whenever you want to participate in this the program okay or in any of these the programs then i've given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section when you follow that link then you will visit my patreon channel my patreon page and there you will sh uh, then there you will see shop option in the shop option you will find all of these the uh, products and the programs so once again the link is in the description of the video and also in the comment section now guys i am going to discuss the second point of the agenda of this s p 500 weekly technical analysis and here i will give you the technical analysis of the s p 500 on the daily chart this is the daily chart daily chart means one candle represents one day not one week or one hour so first comes the candle now if you look into this the last candle there is the open equal to low condition okay closing was approximately equal to the high of the candle okay other than that the closing was above all of the moving averages other than that the most important part the closing was above the strong support zone all of this indicates that on monday either there will be a gap up open or irrespective of any open and initial bullish movement or an intraday bullish movement on monday now this is the chart of the dow jones this is the last candle of the dow jones again the same open equal to low condition close above the all of the moving averages and the closing was approximately equal to the high of the candle 
and also it closed above the 44,000 psychological mark, psychological level. Okay. So all of this indicates that on Monday either there will be a gap up open or irrespective of any open and initial bullish movement or an intraday bullish movement on Monday. So now it is clear that through both of these the charts, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones, okay, um, on Monday we are anticipating a gap up open or irrespective of any open and initial or intraday bullish movement and the same was seen through the weekly chart also. Okay. So bullishness initially intraday or for the entire day Monday, okay, including the gap up um, open, okay, it will be there. Now, now comes the technicals. Now before I discuss the technicals, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. And if you are looking for these daily precise updates of the S&P 500 every day from Monday through Friday, then you can join my Patreon community. I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. And if you want to learn the premium hacks, the hidden hacks and the options, options trading strategies, the modified technical indicators in order to make 5 to 15 percent, okay, then you can opt for this program or for this product and I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. When you follow that link, then you will see the shop option. In the shop option, you will find all of these the products listed there. Okay, products or, or these are the programs. Now, in terms of the technicals, there is a clear fan out in the moving averages. So, S&P 500 is bullish through the moving averages on the daily chart. S&P 500 is bullish through the Bollinger Bands on the daily charts. S&P 500 is bullish through the Ichimoku cloud. And uh, S&P 500 is bearish, just bearish through the MACD. S&P 500 is bullish through the stochastic RSI. Okay. And everything else uh, looks good. So here the S&P 500 will be seen or considered as 90% bullish on the daily chart. Okay. And uh, what we have seen on the weekly chart, it was 100% bullish on the weekly chart. Okay. Now, Dow Jones. Clear fan out in the moving averages. Dow Jones is bullish through the moving averages. Dow Jones is bullish through the Bollinger Bands. Dow Jones is bullish through the um, Ichimoku cloud. And uh, here Dow Jones is bullish through the MACD. Dow Jones is bullish through the stochastic RSI. Okay. So this is perfect here. So here we can say or we can see that Dow Jones is absolute bullish or 100% bullish on the daily charts. Okay. And uh, also on the weekly chart, we have seen it was 100% bullish. So overall, the entire US stock market is absolute 95 to 100% bullish. The trend is bullish. It will remain bullish okay? until, and unless, until and unless there comes some strong reason, some strong news which compels the S&P 500 to lose the strong support zone. Okay? Otherwise, S&P 500 and the market will remain bullish. Okay. And one more thing, when I say the bullish here in the S&P 500, then this bullishness means that now the S&P 500 is looking for 6,000. And after 6,000, it is looking for somewhere around 6,100. Okay, because there is a weekly, uh, there is a trend line through the weekly charts. Okay, so the, again, there will be some conditions for the 6,000 and 6,100 that I will discuss in the next point of the agenda. But guys, whatever will happen or whatever is going to happen, I will keep you posted. I will keep you updated through these daily precise updates of the S&P 500 every day from Monday through Friday. Like what is going to happen, why that is happening, what will be the implications, what will be the maximum for the day, what will be the minimum for the day, what will be the tiebreaker, each and everything from Monday through Friday. If you are my Patreon community member and if you are not, then let me tell you that I gave these daily precise updates every day from Monday through Friday, S&P 500, Dow Jones. And also I give these the stock market opportunities in the premium stocks of the US stock market, top 20, 30 companies of the US stock market. So guys, whenever you want to join my Patreon community, I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. And when you follow that link, then you will see that this is my Patreon page. This is my Patreon profile. And here on my Patreon page, you will notice that there are these three levels, three tiers. 
so this one is all midweek update videos so i give the midweek update video the video analysis every generally okay every wednesday and i discuss the movement for the rest of the weeks the levels the zones okay just like recently i have discussed the zone that no matter what this zone will handle any kind of fall and as of now market is not bearish it is bullish okay so it was clear through that the recent uh, technical analysis video the midweek update video this is the daily s&p 500 updates for non us canada residents this is daily s&p 500 updates for us and canada residents only so these two are same the only difference is the uh, geographical location so when you subscribe to either of these then you will be getting all midweek update videos means the same videos which are posted okay to this uh, to this the level the daily s p 500 analysis updates movement probable movement levels zones everything including the stock market opportunities minimum 5 to 10 every week and guys if you notice many people have joined my patreon community for last many days weeks months and they are getting these daily precise updates every day from monday through friday as well as the stock market opportunities the midweek update and they know that what is happening why that is happening and why and what is expected to happen everything so guys whenever you want to join my patreon community i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section you can follow that link and you can join my patreon community and you are welcome now guys i am going to discuss the third and the last point of the agenda of this s p 500 weekly technical analysis and uh, here i will give you the probable movement uh, of the s p 500 means what is going to happen in the s p 500 dow jones and in a manner in the entire us stock market in the next week from november 25th which is monday to november 29th that will be friday so uh guys first thing first on tuesday fomc minutes of the meetings will be released in the afternoon and through these minutes we will come to know what the feds are thinking whether there will be another another rate cut okay on december 19th or not okay or what will the conditions etc so there will be some uh, fluctuation some movement in the market once the minutes of the meetings are released wednesday pce and core pce data will be released okay if the data comes favorable market will move up and will be heading towards 6100 if the data is not favorable if the data is negative absolute negative in that case this will act as a trigger which can help the s p 500 to breach or to lose this strong support zone which otherwise was not possible so if you are my patreon community member then you need not to worry about this okay once this the data is released once the minutes are released i will give you the updates okay analysis and accordingly you can make changes to your trades now now comes the numbers levels bearish and bullish movement okay so the bearish movement bearish movement will remain limited but guys before that if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and if you are looking for these daily precise updates of the s p 500 every day from monday through friday then you can join my patreon community i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and if you want to learn the hidden hacks the premium hacks which works almost with almost 100 percent accuracy and works almost 100 percent of the times and you want to make five percent to fifteen percent then you can participate in this program you can join this particular program okay options options trading strategies premium calculator eight hacks and modified technical indicators i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and when you follow that link then you will see that there is the shop option and in the shop option you will find all of these the products all of these the programs now the bearish side will remain restricted it will remain restricted to the zone to this particular zone it will remain restricted and it needs a strong reason a strong reason means either the president elect or federal reserve chairman or something from uh, middle east or from russia ukraine okay comes into the picture 
or yes if the on wednesday the pce data okay if it comes absolute negative means something exceptional but negative then this can also act as this the trigger so this means that only and only these strong reasons can bring down the market otherwise the market will not come down and even if even if for any small reasons even if it comes down then also it will hold sustain and there will be a bullish reversal okay because it needs a strong reasons now in the bull side no reason is required no reason is required why because it is absolute 100% bullish it is in the bullish trend it is bullish bullish and bullish that is why in the bullish side no reason is required it will continue to trade in the bull side without any problem okay the problem will happen the problem will happen only when it hits the saturation and the overbought conditions whenever that happens then it will come down okay it will come down to a level or to a zone it will sustain and then again it will move up further okay this is how it is expected to trade so bearish side will remain limited there is one more thing one more very very important thing about the bearish side whenever whenever s&p 500 loses this zone closes below the zone two consecutive closings below the zone remains below the zone sustains below the zone then there will not be any more bullish movement then there will be only and only the bearish movement so this was the bearish movement so bearish movement it depends on the zone one more thing whenever there will be the bearish movement whenever it loses the zone in that case we will be looking for 56 xx okay 56 xx remember as of now it is near 6000 and in this case we will be looking for 56 xx okay so bearish side this is the only thing however for the next week uh, bullish side is heavy okay or means bullish conditions are heavy okay and uh, these some extraordinary conditions i mentioned okay so uh, i'm 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 not sure okay uh, how soon we are going to see these the conditions wednesday there may be because of the pce core pc data but, but again okay only if that data comes exceptionally negative exceptionally bearish okay otherwise neutral or positive data means positive only exceptionally negative means okay this condition otherwise nothing this means that as as long as s&p 500 is trading sustaining at or above this particular zone it is bullish will remain bullish irrespective of anything bullish bullish and bullish okay now in the bullish side because recently earlier it was struggling earlier we you can see it was struggling but then it managed to clear my heavy resistance zone which is now acting as support zone for the s&p 500 that is why when it closed above that resistance zone the s&p 500 on thursday so it was very much clear that on friday there will be heavy bullish movement or there will be a bullish movement good bullish movement because of this particular reason okay because it closed above my heavy strong or this the heavy resistance zone this means that as of now it is sustaining above this heavy support zone any fall will be limited to the zone itself that's it okay and once there comes a fall once there comes a closing below the zone a breach and a close below the zone then it will create a possibility that the s&p 500 will come down to test this heavy this heavy zone okay and if at the same time if at the same time okay any of these the reasons okay that i mentioned if those reasons are seen then there will be a breach okay otherwise not this means that as of now any fall as of now any fall is expected to be limited to this particular zone and then a reversal from this zone itself okay but because for now we are anticipating a gap up open or irrespective of any open and initial or intraday bullish movement this means that this zone might not come into the picture as such okay unless there comes an there comes an intraday bearish movement otherwise this will not be seen in the picture okay now now comes the bullish movement okay bullish movement okay this is there this means that now it is heading to 6000 psychological mark whenever it reaches to 6000 mark whenever it reaches near to 6000 mark means from 5990 to 6000 these 10 points 
these 10 points it will show reluctance it will show struggle at least for one hour or so okay and this is natural because this is the psychological level so this is natural okay however this does not mean s p 500 will not be able to breach 6000 it will be able to breach 6000 6000 is not a big deal why because the all time high level was on monday november 11th and it was 6 0 one seven dot three one this was the all-time high on november 11th okay this means that and also before that um yes on uh, november 11th it for the very first time or the only time it closed above 6000 at 6001 okay that is why it will be able to recover the 6000 and it's not a big deal now the resistance the heavy resistance it is going to face at 6017 not exactly at 6017 just above 6017 a little above 6017 there is my calculated heavy resistance level okay last time it was supposed to hit the resistance level and then it was supposed to come down in this manner however it missed this heavy heavy resistance level just by a few points and it gave up and it came down okay otherwise it was supposed to hit and then 100% it was supposed to come down okay so this the fall it was certain 100% certain that this will happen okay anyways <coughs> now here i am talking about 6017 this means that for any more bullish movement to happen in the s&p 500 there must come at least one closing closing Okay, if you have subscribed to my YouTube channel for last many months or years, I always emphasize on closing. Okay, and it is not just me, but the market experts, everyone. Okay, all of and all of these are formulas and everything, whatever it is there in the stock market. Okay, it is these are calculated based on the closing. So closing is very very important. This means that intraday uh, there might come a situation wherein we can see that S and P 500 has hit 6050. And we might be thinking, okay, it is now moving up heavily. But intraday, within an hour, there comes a bearish movement or a fall. And it comes down and it loses 6017, closes below 6017. What will happen when it closes below 6017? It will be considered as a rejection or a failure. That is why a breach does not matter as such. Okay, but a closing does. So closing is very very important. This means that there must come at least one closing above 6017 so that S&P 500 can trade towards 6100 or so. So the um, uh, trend line is around 6100 or 6110 or 20 or so. And at around the same um, these um, uh, the numbers these the levels okay there is a strong zone there is my calculated strong resistance zone and i am anticipating that whenever s p 500 moves to the trend line and also to my calculated resistance zone then 99 percent not 99 100 percent there will be a fall 100 percent just like what i was anticipating from here just like what i was anticipating from here so this means that a closing above 6017 is required is must is a condition okay that must be fulfilled okay if it fails to close above 6017 then any breach of 6017 okay it will be simply considered as an all time high but at the same time it will be seen as rejection and failure and it will be compelled to come down compelled to come down to this particular zone at first it will sustain and then it will retry okay now in between 6100 or so okay 6110 120 or so okay and 6017 there is a heavy resistance level very heavy resistance level okay and s&p 500 um, will hesitate or will struggle at or around this resistance level at least for one day otherwise for one to two days it will it will spend one or two days at or around this the level if it sustains generally it should uh, it it should sustain because the um, trend line uh, sorry because a trend is bullish movement is bullish momentum is there so it should be able to clear and sustain once it sustains then comes a trend line and the final level okay however if for any reasons if it fails okay if it fails to sustain at this strong resistance level okay in that case it will fail it will come down it will come down to 6017 
and then it will lose and then it will come down come down to 6000 and then eventually it will come down by losing more than 1% to this particular um, this particular heavy um, uh, support zone okay so this means that so in simple words in simple numbers what we can say here that for the next week the movement will be limited to 6017 and uh, not here not here not here this particular zone okay this particular zone and the high of this candle which is 6017.31 and this particular zone okay a loss of this particular zone means the heavy zone will come into the picture which is the last line of defense in the bearish side otherwise and once the S&P 500 loses this heavy very heavy support zone then it is all bearish only bearish movement and nothing else no bullish movement bullish movement will be considered as over once it gives a closing at least one closing above 6017 bullish towards 6100 or so but before 6100 there is a heavy resistance it will have to clear this heavy resistance and once again i uh, and once again okay let me clear that market has potential movement momentum everything is there to clear the resistance okay the only thing is that s p 500 will spend one or two days at or around this resistance level and this is natural okay whenever heavy resistance comes into the picture market uh, faces difficulty okay in uh, to clear okay that particular heavy resistance uh, or heavy su support okay in the bullish on the bearish side so one or two days around this and once it sustains okay because of this heavy bullish movement momentum and everything then towards finally towards the trend line and uh, at the and at around the trend line okay there is my heavy resistance level so heavy resistance zone not level zone and then from there there will be 100 percent fall okay and then that fall will be to this particular support level this will then act as support level then this 6017 then to 6000 then to this zone then to this zone and then okay in this manner yes there is one more thing if the S&P 500 moves up moves to 6100 uh, or so okay and then start to lose from there and there comes continuous losses continuous losses in this manner then this will be considered as and especially at this particular junction okay once it loses this particular junction from 6100 or 6000 or this um, okay from the mid of okay here okay then it will it will be or it can be seen as the beginning of the correction that the market was anticipated 20 to 25 percent heavy correction in the entire us stock market but whatever is going to happen or whatever will happen i will keep you posted through these daily precise updates of the S&P 500 Dow Jones and in a manner to the entire US stock market if you are my Patreon community member and if you are not then you can join my Patreon community I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and guys if you want to learn these the premium hacks the hidden hacks okay and you want to make 5% to 15% okay then you can participate in this particular program you can buy this particular product and you will get eight stock market premium hacks and these are the same hacks that i use every day in my predictions okay the modified technical indicators okay modified technical indicators gives you an uh, an early access or um, or tells you early whether there will be a trend change or not whether there, whether there will be a fall or not whether this is a trap okay or not and these things then the options from basics to advanced the options strategies everything so you can participate in this particular program and I've given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section you can follow that link and when you follow that link then you will see that this is my Patreon page and here you will find or you will see the shop option. In the shop option you will find this is the product and the other products whichever product suits to your requirement whichever program suits to your requirement okay you can opt for that particular product or for that particular uh, program. So guys, um, once again, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. 
and also if you have liked this video then hit like and if you have any questions that you want to ask then please feel free to ask your question through the comment section and uh, guys this was my s p 500 weekly technical analysis for the week of november 25th means from november 25th which is monday to november 29th that will be friday